What's going on everyone? Welcome to another feature content update video. In this video, we're talking about the new billing status field that has been added to tickets. And you might be asking yourselves, well, why are you doing that? And the easy answer really is that we've gotten loads of feedback that people wanted tickets and invoices to not be hard coded together. Obviously you still wanna be able to charge for your time and all that, and none of that's changing. What is changing though is when you click the make invoice button from a ticket directly and having this ticket status automatically change to invoice, that's going away. In fact, we're taking the invoiced ticket status completely out altogether. And we've introduced this new billing status field that when a ticket's brand new and has no charges in the labor log or the add view charges section, it's set as non-billable. If you click add view charges in this example and add a product to the ticket, you'll see that the billing status for the ticket changes to invoice required. Then if you hit make invoice, once the invoice generates, if you head back to the ticket, you'll see that the billing status says invoiced. If you were to say, have an ongoing kind of ticket where part of the invoice is, or excuse me, part of the ticket is invoiced and then it's uh, added to later, you can add additional labor products to the ticket and you'll see the billing status says partially invoiced. What is happening here again is that we are removing the hard-coded invoiced feature and putting a billing status function into the ticket so that you can continue to work and know if a ticket is billable versus not billable versus partially invoiced or totally invoiced and have it separated completely from an invo a hard-coded invoiced status that would change when you'd convert uh, a ticket to an invoice. Another change that comes along with this, for those of you using the recurring invoices, is that the billing status will update if a ticket charge is added to a recurring invoice, which is something that we'd also been getting a lot of feedback around. You didn't really have a good way of knowing if the ticket had been invoiced or not. And while this whole time you could go to the add view charges and see this green check mark and go to the recurring invoice. There's yet another marker now that says billing status. And in the case of what I'm talking about, it'll say invoiced. So please let us know what you think. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.